Hello, folks. I want to discuss something that's, you know, we all know what's happened today, but I want to talk about something more deeper and profound about the whole thing that has happened. Because the fact of the matter is, we're dealing, as James Bond said in a time, in no time to die, with angry little men who believe that they can wrap their hands around the world and strangle it. And they can't. Now, these people believe that they somehow have heard of victory. You got bench, you got certain conservatives saying, we are protecting the unborn, even though, you know, your God has said since 3,000 years ago that a fetus isn't a fucking person. So for me, from a religious perspective, it's very clear that this is not about religion. Because Judaism and Islam have no issue with abortion in that sense. So, this isn't about religion. This is about power and control. Because now, they want to go after, Clarence Thomas says, we should go after contraceptives. Why the fuck do you want to do that? And it shows how deep they want to punish women. Because in doing so, do they mean contraception, Do so men can't do contraception either? Is that what they're fucking saying? So, are they saying that we can't have condoms either? Because, you know, condoms technically are contraception. It's, it's, I mean, is that what these fuckers are saying now? Right? And of course, they're going after LGBTQ people. You know, whatever. It's It's been the same song and dance for how fucking long. And I want people to understand something. These people have nothing. They're nothing. Their ideology, and I've said this times again, is standing on a weak pillar. They have all the money, they have all the funding, they have all the propaganda. But at the end of the day, what are they? They're the they're the guys from Men in Black who control the androids, and they're like the little guys inside the the the, the, the um if everyone that saw Men in Black, they're the little alien guys that are controlling the android and the thing. When you peel it off, you realize, oh, it's a little dude that's controlling an android. That's all he is. <laughs> He's nothing. That's their ideology. It's built on a weak fucking pillar. It's built on nothing. And you know what's funny? These people have always argued. These, these, these folks have always said, the sky is falling. We've gone too far. No. That's not what it is. You people have been going far enough... For a very long fucking time. And then you turn around and you claim. We've gone too far. You fuckers knew about climate change. You guys didn't say. You guys said. We don't give a fuck about it because capitalism. Right. You guys said. We need to care about the holy sanctity of marriage. How the fuck. Why the fuck do I care about that. When. I don't have a family life and I'm working, I don't know, 40, 80 hours a week and I'm not even in my house just so I can, just so I can give people the right to accumulate as much wealth as possible. You guys are contradicting your own (laughs) principles. Even then, I think the whole thing about man and woman and all this thing, it's, it's all bullshit out of the day because it's Western perception and concepts of those relationships. That's all it fucking is. Smokescreen. It's bullshit. It was never real. Fucking abstractions, right? So, again, I'm pretty sure these folks think they're heroes. We're protecting the unborn. Right. Are you going to actually take care of them? No. You're fucking not. So, what the fuck are you doing? You're fucking wasting time. That's all you're doing. So, personally... I have no abject sympathy for these people. I, I just don't. If you think I'm going to have a sit down and talk, I don't like these people. I fucking despise them. Because personally, I have no patience for them. Because they're hypocrites. 
they're the hypocrites that believe that human beings cannot exist in contradictions, even though themselves, they're contradictory themselves. It's the dark side syndrome. I can do whatever I want. No one else can do whatever they want. It's fucking dark side. It's what it is. I have the right to do what I want to do. Do you have... How, what is this based on? Well, <laughs> well, really, actually, nothing, but... I can do it because I can. That's the pillar of what you hold as morally sacred. Give me a fucking break here. All right. So, you know, here we are at this point in this country. And now these folks want to go after contraception, which I, I think this, I don't know how that, how the fuck that's going to work. Um, also, the country's probably fucked to begin with because this whole thing is definitely going to disillusion the United States in many ways. I can definitely see down the line there's going to be lines drawn across the sand. Uh, blue states are going to say, we're going to have abortion. We don't give a fuck if there's a national ban. We're going to challenge you fuckers. And they're going to keep doing it. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to fucking happen. And even if Republicans attempt to do a national ban on abortion... It's going to create disaster beyond disaster beyond relief. Because nothing fundamentally is actually going to change. Just a lot more people are going to die because these people are so short-sighted. And such idiots. They don't even know the consequences of their actions. They're the dog that caught the car. But I, I think at this point, they don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Because they didn't think this through. They didn't think, what are we going to do when we fucking win? That's the thing. You know, <laughs> this thing reminds me of a quote to describe these people. Um, it's a quote from one of the Vertical comics uh, from uh, uh, Lucifer Morningstar. In which Lucifer says, the people he hates the most are the people who hold self-righteous, patronizing, pontificating beliefs. Those who claim and say people are sinners. Sinners shouldn't be blah, 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 blah. We have to, we have to pat the head of sinners. We have to save them, right? We have to do all this other stuff. Lucifer said it pretty good in a series. He said, those people, I not only have joy in torturing in hell, but I also feel a cathartic moment in that because for me, these people are so in fucking denial about why they're even there. That's what makes it the most fun part f for me. I feel bad for the guy, for the person who knows they're there and they actually want to try and be better. The people I have no sympathy for are those who believe in their self-righteous convicting bullshit. That they did the right thing. And then they bow down to my knees and they say... Why has God forsaken me? Why has God put me here? Why the fuck do you think you're here? Ask me. Why the fuck do you think you're here? And these people are going to look at you. Deer in headlights. As if they don't know why they're fucking there. But they know. Their hearts are so deep in their own self-righteous bullshit. They can't even see it. In a sense, I feel pity for them. But do I really? No. Because they know what they did in their life. They thought they were better than other people. They thought they can put their necks around other people who could not defend themselves, who are marginalized. They believed so much that they can do that. And then now, when they come down to my fucking feet, they ask for my father's forgiveness. I'm not going to give you that fucking forgiveness. You're going to burn even worse. And I'm going to like seeing it. Uh, 
Now, that quote, <laughs> it's a great quote for this moment in time, especially to the people who we're actually dealing with here, especially with the theocrats and the other folks who are pushing this shit. I love that quote from that comic. It's a great quote from the comic. And in many ways, in my righteous anger of what's happened today, I've been fueled with a sense of purpose to actually, you know, just say, fuck it. I'm going to help people. I'm going to go to these southern southern places. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to help these women somehow get ways to get abortion safely. I'm going to fucking do it. I don't care. Because I know, deep down, I'm doing the right thing. And that the people who want to stop this, who claim to be God-fearing people, (laughs) your your God has said a fetus isn't a fucking person. And you've decided to ignore that. So, in essence, I think I'm right by default in that sense. Anyhow, that's just my thoughts on the matter. And um, I wanted to have a reaction to it because I I spoke about it in the morning to what happened. And I I wasn't really clear, but this is kind of my raw emotion about everything that's happened. And I wanted to say that quote, and man, did it feel fucking good. Um, Because that quote is 100% correct in terms of dealing with these types of people. Um. But yeah, had a new sense of purpose now, folks.